Hey, this is Matt from Vesquat. Today is Monday, October 25, 2021. The markets pulled back after the open, filled the gap, and took off to the upside. We are now taking out highs from uh, past week, from Friday, from pretty much everything as uh, the S&P is up at all-time highs here. So what we'll look at this afternoon is what has happened historically when you start the week with this type of strength. So let me go into Discover. I'm going to select all four instruments. The setup we're going to be using this afternoon is based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. And the setup we'll be using is going to be based upon what we're going to uh, select from the post open filters. We're going to say that at the time of entry, which I've got selected as 3 o'clock Eastern time, that we are trading above the open and above the recent highs. So I've selected the close is above the open here from the intraday close versus intraday range. That means you've got a green daily candlestick forming. And I'm also going to say that at 3 o'clock, you're trading above the recent highs. So above a 10-day high. That means we'll be above all of the highs uh, from the last two weeks here. And next, I'm going to go into the calendar library. I'm going to say that this is happening specifically on a Monday. And lastly, I'm going to put us in a bull market environment where you are above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when it is a Monday in a bull market and you have a strong day forming, which I've defined as trading above the open and above the recent highs from the past 10 days. So historically, we've got 106 samples in the S&P to look at, 125 in the NASDAQ, 99 in the Dow, 76 in the Russell. The win rates on these are all in agreement that it has been a little bit weaker scenario. So the S&P coming in at 40. 2% of these have closed above that 3 p.m. price. For the NASDAQ, it's 36. For the Dow, 44. And for the Russell, 46. If we look at the average moves, it looks like the average loss is just a little bit larger than the average win for the S&P, but they're pretty close in size. Uh, the NASDAQ has a larger average win. The Dow, similar to the S&P, just a slightly larger average loss. And the Russell, just a slightly larger average win. So the average moves are pretty mixed overall. But the win rates are in agreement, which have shown historically this pattern has sold off more often than not beyond that 3 p.m. price. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.